Hello, how's everyone? This is Lead Coding. Today I'm going to start with a very new playlist. In this playlist, I will add solutions to the question starting from the very easy one, gradually moving on to the intermediate questions and then finally to the difficult ones. So even the complete beginners can start with this playlist and can gradually increase their skills as we move on to the difficult problems. So please share this video, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's move to the very first problem of this playlist that is kids with the greatest number of candies. The problem description says that given the array candies and an integer extra candies where the candy i represents the number of the candies that the ith kid has. For each kid, if there is a way to distribute extra candies among the kids such that he or she can have the greatest number of the candies among them. So we have to distribute the extra candies among the kids and we have to tell the particular kid is having the greatest number of candies or not. So why don't we give all the extra candies to that particular kid for which we have to decide whether he has maximum number of candies among all the kids or not. So we are going to give all the extra candies to that particular kid. Now, notice that multiple kids can have the maximum number. So we have to check whether a particular kid after giving all the extra candies to that kid is having the maximum number of candies or not. Let us look at the very first example. We have three extra candies. If we give these three candies to the very first kid. The total will be five and five is in fact the maximum. So it is true in this case. Then we have three. Three plus three is six after giving extra candies. So six is also maximum. Then we have five, five plus three, eight, which is again maximum. Then we have one, one plus three, which is equals to four. Now this will not be maximum as the third kid have five candies, which is more than four. Finally, three and three plus three, six. Again, this is maximum in the entire array. One way to approach this problem would be as follows. Let's say this is the configuration which we have. Now in this configuration, we go to the first kid give one extra candy to this the total will be five and we will check in the remaining array whether the five is the maximum element in the array or not so we will traverse the entire array and you will find that five is in fact maximum and the answer will be true for this kid next we will move on to our second kid and we will give one extra candy to this the total will be three we will traverse the entire array and we will see whether three is the maximum element or not we see that the first kid has four candies so which is of course greater than three so this will not be able to have maximum candies answer will be false for this one similarly for this one also answer will be false for this one also answer is false for this also the answer is false so that's what we see in this answer for the first one is true rest it is false now when we talk about the time complexity of this solution, it will be big O of n square. How? Let us break this down. First, we are standing at the first kid and we are traversing the entire array except the first one. It will be n minus 1 iterations. Next, we move on to the second kid and for this one also, we traverse the entire array except the second one to check whether this is maximum or not. So for this also, we are traversing n minus one times. Similarly for the third, fourth and the fifth one. So n minus one up to n times. It will be n into n minus one, which is equals to n square minus n. So the time complexity is big O of n square in this case. What else we can do is instead of traversing the entire array for each kid we can we can find the greatest element in the array so here it is four now we have one extra candy so to the first one we give one extra candy it will be five five is greater than four so answer will be true in this case for the second one if we give one extra candy to this uh, the summation will be three so three is still smaller than four which is the maximum in the array so it will be false again one plus one is two which is smaller than the greatest element which is 4 so it will be false in this case similarly we can approach this problem so this will take big O of n time what we did we find the greatest element in the array and compared the number of the candies that a particular kid have plus the extra candies with this maximum element of the array now let us try to implement this 
so we have a maximum c which is equals to zero initially this will be the maximum number of the candies in the entire array so auto a belongs to candies what this auto function do is it will take each element from the candies we will then try to maximize max c max c is equals to maximum of max c comma a now a uh, max c will have the maximum number of the candies throughout the array then we have to compare for auto a belongs to candies if a plus extra candies is greater than or equals to max c then answer dot pushback answer is something which i haven't yet created so i have to create the answer as well answer will be a vector of type bool answer dot pushback true in this case in all the other case answer dot pushback false finally return the answer let us try to run this vector it is working fine next instead of doing this another way to find another way to find the maximum could be using this function uh, from here directly max element candies dot begin candies dot end I think they should give us the maximum element all right so it will be star here yo gg it's giving us the correct answer so this is basically a stl function which will give us the maximum element from the array so this is it for the solution so if you want me to upload the solution video to any particular problem you can comment down below please share this video with your friends comment any queries which you have and please do subscribe to the channel i will keep uploading to this playlist and gradually increase the difficulty level as we proceed Thank you.